today we are continuing the theory of production second part starts from marginal rate of technical substitution mrts that is marginal rate of technical substitution the slope of isocon measures the rate at which one input can be substituted for another input to get the same level of output usually we are taking labor and capital as inputs the slope of this isocone that measures marginal rate of technical substitution mrts we are substituting capital for labor that is the technical substitution so mrt s means delta k by delta l change in capital divided by change in labor by using isocons we are producing the same level of output and substituting one input for another that is marginal rate of substitution in this diagram we see a diminishing marginal rate of substitution the substitution for one factor is diminishing the increasing amounts of labor reduces the amount of capital needed but a decreasing rate the rate at which one factor is substituting for another is decreasing on the curve next is we are going to find the properties of isocon first one no two isocons can intersect isocons are not intersecting or tangent to each other second one is that isocons slopes downwards from left to right isocons usually slopes downwards from left to right they are convex to the origin then most important property is that higher isocon gives higher level of output then what are the types of isocons first one is linear isocon it represents a perfect substitutability of factors of production we are substituting one for another one factor for another so linear isocons gives perfect substitutability and linearity that means we get a straight line isocon the first picture gives linear isocon king isocon king means small shift if the factors of production shows limited substitutability we can see kinked isocons input output isocon that means zero substitutability or l shaped isocons then smooth isocons that is usually the normal isocons that means continuous substitutability of factors of production next one is isocost line an isocost line is a line that represents all combination of firms factors of production that have same total cost within our budget we can pur- purchase the factors of production that shows isocost line same cost line the combination of two factors that the cost same to use in the production process that is an isocost line 
same like budget line then the producers equilibrium producer reaches equilibrium where the iso cost line and iso cons are tangent to each other to maximize profit a firm will wish to produce at the point of highest possible iso cost and minimum possible iso cost expansion path expansion path may be defined as the locus of efficient combination of factors the point of tangency between iso cost and iso cost line in one diagram having more iso cons and more iso cost lines that is the curve along which output or expenditure changes when factor prices remain constant the prices of factors are constant here and is also known as scale line it shows how the producer will change the quantities of two factors when it raises the scale of production this is the figure expansion path there are three iso cons and three iso cos lines the tangency of three iso cost and iso cons are p q r when we join this tangency points of p q r we get an expansion path this much as today's class thank you